I got a great question from a viewer the other day. Cater's Carrots asked, Beethoven makes his Ninth Symphony Scherzo sound like an allegro in 2-4 time, even though on paper it switches from triple meter in the scherzo section to duple meter in the trio section. So I went looking for the score and found a pretty good one for us to look at. I think here in this figure is where we should be looking at for that transition feeling from 3-4 to 2-4. So like the question stated before, this part of the music is in 3-4 time. That is the written time signature, three quarter notes for every measure. And the main melody that gets repeated over and over in this movement has a very strong 3-4 feeling. It has that strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak pulse that we usually associate with 3-4. Here, let me play you part of it. But after the opening statement of the main melody, something very interesting happens. The strings begin to play this figure of dotted quarter, eighth quarter. It's very important that the strings are playing this pattern because I don't think it would work as well if another instrument played it. Um, because that 3-4 tempo is going by so fast, you can feel it in one beat. Like, each bar is one beat instead of three beats. Second, the last two notes of the figure, that eighth note and quarter note, are very hard to separate at that tempo. Everything is going by so fast that the eighth and quarter kind of blend together into one note. Now, if we were to notate these last two notes as one note, we would have two dotted quarter notes. Now we have a 3-4 measure that's being divided equally into two beats. Another way to think of this is imagine a 3-4 bar, but just eighth notes. So we have six total eighth notes. The first dotted quarter note takes up three of those eighth notes because a quarter note is made up of two eighth notes and the dot gives it plus one half of its original value. So one half of a quarter note is another eighth note, giving us three total eighth notes that the dotted quarter is taking up. And the second dotted quarter note takes up the last three eighth notes. So again, we have a three four bar being divided equally into two beats instead of three beats. So if we compare this new two dotted quarter note rhythm to the normal three quarter note pattern, one after the other, it sounds like this. If we go back to the score, there are three things that are helping this effect, this illusion take place. First, everything is going by so fast that you can feel every measure as one beat. Second is the articulation. Those last two notes kind of blend together into one note. The last thing that I think is just as important as the first two is the orchestration. If you look at the section again, nobody is playing on beat two. So you have this very strong downbeat that everyone is playing, and then the strings playing on the end of two to give that duple feeling, the feeling that the music is now in 2-4 instead of 3-4. If anyone had been playing on beat two, it would break the illusion. But since we only have the downbeat and the end of two, it sounds like we're in 2-4 time. And that is how you make a 3-4 time signature sound like 2-4. Quick side note here, there is a fancy word for this. It's called hemiola. A hemiola is a rhythmic pattern where two notes are played in the time allotted to three, or where three notes are played in the time allotted to two. Most of us are familiar with the three notes in the space of two because that's just a triplet. But you can also have duplets like this, where two notes are played in the space of three notes. They're just a little less common. But a hemiola isn't the only type of time signature shenanigans that composers can get up to. Let's look at one more example. Another more modern technique is simply grouping eighth notes into different patterns to make the music feel as if it's in another time signature. For example, imagine we have a piece of music in 4-4. Normally a bar of 4-4 would have eight eighth notes grouped into twos to keep that duple feeling. But what if we have a five note pattern like this? and we just group the eighth notes into groups of five. 
we would have something that sounds like this. That time I was playing with the eighth notes on, let me play it one more time, but this time with just the quarter notes on the metronome. Now we have a piece of music that is written in 4 4, but sounds like it's written in 5 8. You can do this with any other grouping as well. Um, another more common one is a group of three notes, like this. That time was with the eighth notes on. Let me play it one more time with just the quarter notes on the metronome. The only caveat to this technique is that if you're gonna do this for the entire piece, you should probably write it in a different time signature. That five note grouping could be written in five four or five eight, and that three note grouping could be written in three four or three eight. It just makes it easier for the musicians to read. But if you're using this technique for only a short amount of time, then there's no need to change the time signature. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Cater's Carrots for the great question. If you have any questions about music history or music theory, let me know in the comments below, and they might be featured in a future video. If you'd like to support this channel, check out the Patreon link to learn more. Thank you.